Radian is a housing and care group uh, and the, the housing element is uh, social and affordable housing and uh, within that uh, portfolio we invest annually 15 to 20 million pounds in maintaining and upgrading our homes and a proportion of that will be around energy efficiency measures. This project really fell out of our asset management strategy. That's really how we carry out maintenance to all of our properties. These particular homes are REMA, prefabricated homes. They were built in the 1950s, sort of homes for heroes after the Second World War. They come to the end of their life and it was clear that we had to do something with them. We let residents steer the project. They can decide if they want to have their homes demolished and move into new eco homes, or if you want them refurbished, we'll retrofit them to a standard that's at least as good as, as the new homes that we're building in terms of environmental performance. We weren't railroaded into a situation that we didn't want. They listened to what people wanted, and I think they went along with the people's wishes by keeping the houses and doing the redevelopment as it's turned out at the moment, which was lovely. We were told that the houses were going to be completely gutted down to just literally four walls, basically, and everything was going to be replaced, which entailed new ceilings, new walls, new doors, new skirting boards, double glazing, even new boilers. Every single thing in the house was replaced, which was quite amazing. We work with residents to help them understand how they can get the optimum out of the energy efficiency measures that we've, we've put in the home. But you can see here that the panels are actually currently generating 844 watts. Wow, that's good. So that's, that's quite impressive. Yeah. The real trick of this is when yeah. this figure is high here, that's the time to try and do your, your washing and yep. that saves you more money because you you know, you're getting the power off the roof. Yep. And we've saved 539 kilograms of CO2 because we're displacing the heavily carbonised grid electricity. That's brilliant. And I've also saved on my electricity and gas bill. That's right. By yep. under half now. Yeah, that's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Really pleased for you. <laughs> We're very pleased that the, this project has been undertaken by Radian's direct labour organisation, Radian Services. Um, they've certainly had a learning curve to go through on this project, but they've acquired new skills that they can you know, repeat elsewhere and, as demand picks up. We've had about six apprentices at different times working on these homes, so they've learned new skills as well. And I think the, the workmen have taken a lot of pride in their work. And also, hopefully, for Radian Services as a business, we can offer out these specialist skills perhaps to other houses associations or even uh, private householders through the new Green Deal that the government are introducing. We're also developing a lot of new homes. We have a program of low carbon new homes that's in progress at the moment. We're building 11 zero carbon homes in Southampton. We've just completed nine in Windsor and we started on site in Portsmouth also with another 12 there. So we're very proud to be pushing the boundaries, delivering a, a program of low and zero carbon new homes so we can learn from that and disseminate the experience to others. We want to share what we've learned with other organisations and, and we've, we've run a number of national conferences over the years. We're very uh, fortunate in getting eminent speakers to come along and uh, talk about the latest uh, uh, innovations but also to talk about what we've done, how they see it uh, as experts looking in from the outside. It's quite a good community, the Housing Association world. People do share information and we've played a big role in that. One of the gratifying aspects of this work that people, once they see uh, what can be done, they become great kind of evangelists for, for this type of work. When I first walked into the door the day we moved back, it was a wow factor. And it's what, eight months, nine months on, and I still get that wow factor when I walk in. There's nothing better than meeting a resident, someone who was born in one of these houses on this estate, their parents were the tenants, now sees it as a new house, and an absolute uh, kind of missionary now for the work that we're doing. And that's the real payoff. Mm -hmm.